Hey guys, Thunder E here. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who wished me well. Uh, I recently had a very bad sprain on my ankle, so content has been a bit slow in making. I'm recovering. I was almost done with this video, so I just wanted to just go ahead and finish it up. Uh, but thank you again, and thank you for watching on the channel. Uh, today, I'm taking a look at the um, Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. This is one very interesting, lovely laptop. There are a couple of things that make me really like what this laptop brings to the table and whether it's the best 14 inch gaming laptop that you'll find out there on the market that has to be seen, but we'll talk about that in this video, but it's a fun laptop. So let's start off with just the design and hardware. Because as you look at it compared to last year's version of the G14, this device is just slimmer. It's slimmer, takes up less of a footprint, and also has a much more sleeker design. Although I do, I will say though, I do like the, the animatrix on the G14 from 2023 compared to this year with the stripe on the front, which has some customability to it, but we'll talk about that later. As I mentioned, it's slimmer, it's thinner, and when you open it up, you've got this gorgeous layout with the display, the keyboard, speakers, trackpad, all that fun stuff there. Now, let's start off with the display. This is an OLED display with 100% RGB color accuracy. It is gorgeous. Whatever you have on this display looks absolutely sharp and vivid. Whether you're just looking at, say, a wallpaper, like the Asus wallpaper on here, which is really nice, the color accuracy really pops out, or whether you're gaming, that's the other thing about the color accuracy I love about this display. Really stands out for the games you want to play. Anything from Street Fighter, which is super colorful in there, to something like uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where you kind of have to sneak about and you've got a mixture of colors and also some dull palettes as well. Really stands out. I love the way, and plus the viewing angles, whatever angle you're playing at, you get some really great colors and texts are pretty crisp as well. So the display is stunning. Uh, and then you move down to the base layer here where you have this nice flushed out keyboard. I love the fact that they've kept, you know, the um, keys at the very top for your volume, uh, mic mute, and of course the ASUS button. Uh, I wish there was a dedicated mute button, but it's just kind of reducing the volume. There's a power button. There is no fingerprint sensor, but it does have Windows Hello facial recognition, which works really well. So you have that. Keyboard is nice, but I also like the fact that we do have uh, speakers on the side grill, really nice and solid, giving us some very good sound, which honestly, we just have to take a listen to. Just listen to some of that gameplay. I'll play. <laughs> Speakers are good. They are very, very nice and they do a really good job. Now, of course, you can see the logos here. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 8945HS chipset with a Radeon 7080M uh, integrated graphics, plus an NVIDIA RTX 4070. This is a studio edition because it's kind of centered to someone who's doing a lot of editing and work, you know, combined together. Really solid specs in here. Now, I also have up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and I have a terabyte of storage. So what you expect from a device like this. Nice specs all in all, and we'll get to some of the performance levels there. Now the trackpad I really like, it's super smooth, very responsive, one of the best trackpads I've used on a Windows laptop, or actually to precise, any laptop, Windows or Mac. They've done a really good job here. I think Asus really steps up the game with how they make things work. Now, in terms of ports, you have a plethora of ports. On the left-hand side, there's a proprietary DCN power port, uh, there's a full HDMI, especially with this thin height as well. And then you've got uh, a USB Type-C, uh, 40 gigabits, USB-A uh, at uh, 20 gigabits, headphone and mic jack. And then on the right-hand side, we have another USB Type-A, 20, micro SD card slot, and another Type-C uh, display port, 10 gigs. So a lot of the ports you need here, no Thunderbolt, because of course AMD is just not really part of that. But the cool thing is this thing looks really nice design-wise. You hold it up like this, you can see how good it looks. Um, and it's such a refreshing laptop to hold. I love also the fact that they are very thin bezels at the very top of this thing uh, all around. Now, performance. What about performance? What do we have? So we've seen some very interesting 
things in terms of performance with this device. So let's look at benchmarks. So starting with our Cinebench R24, Cinebench 2024 scores, we're looking at multi-core scores where it comes in at 851, which is fourth on this list here, uh, which is still pretty good. And then when we go to our single core scores, uh, we're looking at 100, also pretty solid overall. As you can see the chipsets that are ahead of it uh, there. And then a GPU score of uh, 10,735. So solid performance there with the R24 score. So Geekbench 6 scores, we're looking at our OpenCL scores at 111,237, while we have, of course, our single core scores at 2,234 and the multi core scores at 11,190. Again, for the people who love benchmarks and scores, that's what you have there. But when we go over to 3D Mark and run some tests there to see what games are compatible, before we get into gameplay, we, here we see some interesting scores here uh, for 1440p gameplay. The lowest was at GTA 5 with 65 plus frames per second. And it kind of goes up from there. And then when we go over and see each game, you can see how well it performs steadily. You know, you've got uh, Battlefield uh, 5. You also have uh, games like Apex as well, showing the scores there. And then the scores get higher when you run at 1080p. So again, great performance on this. But what about just actual gameplay? Well, how about you guys just enjoy some of that gameplay and see this course for yourself, and then we'll come back and talk. Can't be that hard. What makes you think it was for you? Luxury. He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who funded it. Noted size that story for the damn justice in it. Very good gameplay performance. I have to say that I really enjoyed using this laptop to game. The one game I really wanted to play was Hell Diver 2. For whatever reason, I could not get into the servers anytime I went to record, so. Sorry about that guys, I couldn't include it, but I'll try including the next video. Now, performance wise, this laptop will get you there for any of the games you want to play, especially with the 4070 GPU, you're getting great performance all around. When it comes to temperatures, the maximum temperature I've recorded here was about 110 degrees, uh, playing Cyberpunk 2077. That's the most amount in terms of temperatures I got there. So temperature performance, I think was, has been pretty solid. My only gripe with temperatures is that the laptop does stay professionally warm all the time. In use, whether in on daily use or just gaming, it stays warm. Gaming is quite understandable. That will happen. It will stay, it will kind of heat up. But when you're using it just on a day to day, typing on the laptop, it just gets warm for whatever reason. Now, 
So ASUS has its own software called Armor Crate, which you find across ASUS desktop PCs, laptops, great piece of software. And you've got a lot of things you can do. You've got things to customize the lighting behind here, uh, where you can customize the slash lighting for a couple of things, breathing modes and things like that, customizing your audio, also GPU power savings as well. Uh, to go to ultimate performance optimize to get the best out of the laptop. So Armor Crate's a great software. You guys know that and it runs really well. Now opening up this laptop is pretty easy and straightforward. Um, if you have a screwdriver toolkit, you can open this up quite well. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is that the RAM is soldered onto the system. So whatever RAM you buy, and that's what you're getting, which is a big bummer. You can go ahead and swap out the SSD, but the RAM is soldered to the system. So that's something I'm not a big fan of as well as the uh, charging port. The DC char charging port is proprietary with the charger. Uh, that charger is not too big, so it's nice. You can charge this via PD charging via USB type C, so that is an um, option for you. And you're gonna be asking me about battery life. So while gaming, it's plugged in. That's how I played all the games here. But while using this laptop on a regular basis, I got about 12 hours of battery life roughly on the laptop for use, which is pretty good. Again, my one gripe was that it kind of just felt warm. I'm holding it now, it feels a little bit warm. That's it, it doesn't get hot, but just feels warm, which is, you know, it's interesting. That being said though, the fan is at the bottom and it kind of blows it back here. So you get that as well. Anyway, how do I frame this laptop? Do I like it? Yes, I love it. The G14, when it comes to gaming, really stands out. Uh, that OLED display is gorgeous. It makes the gaming experience just look better, feel better. And again, the viewing angles are great. The performance from the chipset is also very good, uh, which means I can enjoy the games as much as I want to. I, I really wish the temperatures were a bit better in terms of just the static temperatures, or sorry, stationary temperatures. And I would wish I could also customize the RAM the way I would like to. But besides that, I think this is a laptop a lot of people like. I know this wasn't your typical review because I feel kind of bummed out right now because of my leg, but hopefully you enjoy this video and watch more videos like this. Let me know what other laptops you'd like to see, something like the G16 with the Intel uh, 15 uh, 155H chipset or something else from another company. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want to pick this up, use my link in the bio. And this is Thundee saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.